meowdy howdy. I think the camera is set up right. I recently moved my desk, so I've had to reset things up, and that means things are a little bit more confusing. But yes, we have our sketchbook. I thought of this idea in the shower, so this is the cleanest me you will ever get. Because I just had my shower and then came to record this video. Because the video I originally had for today, I ended up posting early because I was impatient. And then the other video that I was going to post today, I haven't even finished it and I'm not going to get it finished before the time I like to post that. So, oh, maybe I should do today's drawing on this page because it's blank. Or I could, I've got this page right here. No one said we had to use sketchbook pages in order. I didn't even think to get a reference image of the character I'm going to be painting up, because today we're going to be doing a lovely little paint. Let's see if I even have a reference image of the character. It's my Stardew Valley farmer. I don't know if I have any reference images of this farmer on anywhere. I've drawn this farmer once, I think, but I didn't like the drawing. Uh, I've got my old farmer information here. Why do I have that? It's probably going to be in thumbs, if anything. Zero, zero, zero. Nope. You'd think I would know what my own farmer looks like a little bit better. Wait. I'm recording it on my tablet. I can literally just grab my tablet. Oh, there is a cat under my desk. And a cat has been on my desk too, because my other sketchbook was on the floor. But today we'll be using acrylic paint. I kind of dislike acrylic paint. Do I have any other farmers aside from... No, just Remy. What colour eyes would you say Remy has? I don't know. We're probably going to end up having Remy marry a... A lady. Because that is the results of the poll so far. Which I am fine with. Ow, Lily, go away. Your claws hurt my leggies. Um, you can't really see Remy in that picture, can you? Um, do I have any embarrassing pictures on this tablet? I don't think so. That will do. <laughs> so, only I need to see the reference picture, really. Uh, let's mix his yeah, skin colour first. Um, I've got the paint box behind me. I've got a tub of paint, because why have my paint anywhere that makes sense? But, bloop. So let's start with this lovely crimson colour. Don't ask what I'm doing in terms of mixing colours, because I don't know. I'm primarily a digital artist. Um, so I think he's got a lovely kind of more of a, I think he's got more orangey kind of, I think he's got lovely, lovely, lovely kind of more tan skin because he's out in, in the farm a lot. That's not where I wanted that to dribble to, but you know what? It's good enough. A little bit of this colour. Oh, I did not mean to dribble that onto the page. I need to sneeze. I hope the muting this works, because, um, I feel bad for you if you had to listen to me sneeze every time I sneeze. YouTube is recommending me, world's smartest person wrote this one mysterious book. What is the mysterious book? Oh, oopsie doopsie. Where's the button? Whoopsie doopsie. My tall, poor Tamagotchi have been neglected because I did not realise they woke up. Oh, poor babies. Oh, I only have rice for this one to eat, so it just ends up being more sad. You should be glad you got to eat. Think of, think of the poor children in Antarctica. I don't think there is any children in Antarctica. I don't think children are allowed there. Or am I thinking of the wrong place? I don't know. But that should let me ignore them until the end of the video. Now they're just unhappy. 
Mixy the paint, the mixy the paint. Did the red actually make any difference in this? I don't know. I'm gonna approach. I'm I'm not still not amazing with using acrylic paint because of the disliking of acrylic paint. So I'm just gonna approach this the same way I approach digital art when I decide to do it all on one layer. Except you know more wet <laughs> because you know it's paint. I have to wait for it to dry. Gross. Um, I need to stop holding the paintbrush while I try to mix paint. Well, I need the paintbrush for mixing the paint, but I don't need to be holding it when I'm not mixing paint. I've also got watercolour. I just don't like acrylic paint a whole lot because of how plasticky it feels to me. I've been thinking I'd like to try um, gouache, because apparently gouache, I'm not even pronouncing that right, am I? I think it's kind of a middle between watercolour and acrylic, and I think that would be better. I'm just digging for, for a brown. Um, look at this little ice cream tub. It's a miniature ice cream tub. Why am I so still on this mode? That's the... Oh. There we go. That's the looking at Tamagotchi mode. <laughs> um, can I pick this up? I will paint over that spot, probably. I don't know. This kind of makes it too ruddy, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's add a little bit more of our friend. There we go. But I do need a brown. Here's my brown. Isn't this a nice shade of apparently purple, but it looks bluer to me. Ooh, you're a brown. Ugh, I broke an owl while digging. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm giving you the finger. <laughs> Poor nail. Okay. Oh, just knocked over something below my chair. Is it really a complete video if you don't knock something over? <sniffs> Sorry. Sniffle, sniffle. Not too much of this. I'll add more to it when we need to do some shading. I don't know how we want to do the painting of his hair yet. I wonder if I've made a Toy House page for Remy. I can't remember. I think Remy just uses all pronouns. I think that's going to be our choice. Remy uses all pronouns, but primarily they then. Um, Remy, do you have a Toy House page? Is the question. Um, this is our lovely Remy draw. Do, 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 do. Fan characters, I would assume. Actually, he should actually be in the t YouTube folder, but I assume past me would have put him in fan characters without thinking about it. Um, Stardew Valley. Remy does have a toy house page. I should move him to the correct folder. I don't think I actually like this shade I've got going on here. I think it is kind of... Um, a little bit too ruddy, if that makes sense. Oh, I gave him kind of an orangey-yellow colour eye in this picture. In this art I've got on his Toy House profile. Not that I really like the art on his Toy House profile very much. It looks very, uh, not good. Um, where is... Oh, I've still got the brown right next to me. That's the thing I was looking for. Big old block of brown. Lily is causing havoc behind me. Because I've got stuff in this room that she hasn't seen in a long time. So she has to investigate it. It's usually not allowed in this room. But I'm, Lily doesn't believe in personal space. So now that I have my desk in this room. She thinks she needs to be right there with me. This doesn't make it better at all, does it? I should probably have grabbed something to hold the paper here, so the page wouldn't drupal. Lily, go away! I can't have you on my lap right now. Your little claws hurt.
Lily, can you please get off my little stool here? You can sit on the you can sleep on the Uri that's next to me. Okay. Lily has gotten a lot clingier lately, and I feel bad whenever I scold her because I need some space, but she wants to be in my space all the time. Especially when I'm talking, so that means she just ends up harassing me more when I happen to be recording videos. I'm hoping she will squawk at the door less now because my desk isn't within sight of the desk of the door. The door to go outside, that is. But who knows? Because I sh I'm sure it will soon be the time in which she thinks she needs to go outside. I will definitely need to put her outside today because she hasn't gone outside in a few days. We've just been taking her to visit my nana and she enjoys running around the house. There we go. Doesn't really show up much, does it? I think I need a slightly darker brown for here. Um, oh, it shows up too much. It shows up when you put too much paint on the brush. I should get like a little minute. I do have a miniature fan. I think it's broken. I should get something so I can, I don't know, attempt to dry the paint faster. Because that would be useful. My number one approach to digital art is always, it doesn't really matter if you mess up something in the colouring because it's really easy just to cover it up with digital art. And it's easy, that, I'm sure it's easy to cover it up with traditional art too if you're, you know, a little bit more practiced at it than I am. But that's kind of the approach we're taking here. Everything can be covered if needed. I need to get a darker brown, I think. Oop, this is a little bit too much paint. Oh well. We're just going to put him in like a baggy t-shirt. Pretend this is his lazy, their lazy day clothing. Because you know, sometimes a farmer has to have a lazy day where she lies in bed and does nothing. So the nose would be in the middle of the face. If I were smart, I would switch to a different paintbrush. But I'm not, so. And that would be where the eyebrow is. This would be where the other eyebrow is. And then we kind of negative out the nose, because we did it messily here. There we go. I think for someone who is not too practiced at doing traditional art, I'm doing pretty alright, even if I did just make the neck too thick. Sometimes, sometimes a farmer just has a thick neck. Uh, I need some white paint. I have a big old Scroogey, scloogey, scloogey bag of white paint, but I don't really want to bust out that because it is annoying. I grabbed my darker brown while I'm at it. Why do I have nail polish in my paint thing? Do I even have a white tube in here? I'm constantly running out of white paint, that's why I have the giant scloogle bag. But I was hoping I would have a littler thing on hand so I wouldn't have to lift the, the the bigger thing. I mean, it's not even that big. I'm making it sound more dramatic than it is. You know what? I think we will just have to break the laws. Sorry, Lily. Pat the Lily. Um, I have an unopened thing of paint here. Because I don't need these four colours yet, I still have those four colours in, in the tub. What is this? Is the paint busted out a little bit there? 
How do I open you? I think I need scissors. What has happened to my black paint here? Oh. There we go. I did not need the scissors. What has happened to the black paint? <laughs> it busted out a little and then dried itself. It busted out so long ago it's dried off completely. Ugh. See what I mean about acrylic paint being so plasticky? Yeah. Like, uh, how can you not describe that as plasticky? I, I will investigate where this leak is coming from at a later point in time. I guess I will sit this somewhere where I will remember it. And then we only need the white paint out of this thing. So these three colours can go into the tub next to me. <laughs> where I will use them eventually. And then we have our lovely white paint. How lovely. Wait, I need a grey out of the tub. I need a grey. Or a black, I guess. But a grey would be better, so I don't have to do as much, much mixing. There we go. Honestly, some of this paint I've had for a really long time, so... Maybe something... No, I don't think any of it's quite old enough to have its own Discord account yet. <laughs> But it's probably getting there. I go through phases of using acrylic paint because I I don't like acrylic paint, but at the same time I like I like painting. Are you seeing my dilemma and why I would like to try um, gouache? Do I need to? Yeah, there's a little plasticky, a little silver fella. Freedom for the paint. Do I have anything in my couple? Look, I have a cup. I gave up energy drink, and now I drink out of this cup with my straw. I drink, uh, drinks that aren't energy drink, <laughs> obviously. But it's empty, so I cannot drink all. Even though I am thirsty. Wait, I can pause and I can refill up my cup. I'm actually due to record the next Stardew Valley video today. And then... And then next week we will probably have the results on who our farmer is going to marry. Because tomorrow, if I, if everything goes to plan and I post this video today, which is the plan, then tomorrow, according to y'all, and according to me actually, um, we'll have the poll in the community tab about which farmer, I mean not which farmer, about who the farmer is going to marry. And then I guess... We can have a video where we draw the farmer and their new spouse. Oh, wow. I picked a really stiff paintbrush, didn't I? I actually need to get some new paintbrushes, but I don't want to. Because that involves spending money on paintbrushes. I bought another desk, so I'd have another desk behind me. And I'm really looking forward to that. I just have to wait for it to be ready for pickup. And I bought some little drawers. I will probably show you that desk once it's more organised. I have to tidy up this room a bit more still. Because I kind of ignored this room for months. I was avoiding coming into this room. One of my rabbits actually died in this room. And it's a little bit eh. But also even before the rabbit died in this room. I just didn't really like this room. I'm hoping to adjust my feelings around this room. With having my desk in here. I think I actually did the eyes bigger than I planned on. But you know what? That is that is fine. And I might have to do a couple of coats. To get the eye, eye whites to the quite the colour we want it to be. Which means waiting for paint to dry. Sad. There we go. I did also get my darker brown. But we don't need the darker brown quite yet, because let's start working on the hair. And the eyebrows, I guess. And we will use our lighter brown as a base for that. It is starting to get a bit lighter outside, so maybe after I'm done recording I can put Lily outside and she can be happy. Even if it is really cold outside. Because we are having some cold weather here. 
we're in either autumn or winter, I don't know. I don't know how seasons work, and I don't want to know. But then global warming's a thing, and I think that's made seasons a bit more muddled. It sure does look like I'm just mushing some mushy, mushy chocolate onto his eyes, onto his face. But you know what? Maybe that's the way things are meant to be. Instead of eyebrows, we should all have mushy, mushy chocolate. There we go. We'll have to layer it up a bit, obviously. I think when he's when they're farming, they have their hair in braids sometimes. But, you know, if they're at home and having a lazy day, they don't really feel the need to keep their hair out of their face as much. So it can be loose. Which is a mood, because I, actually, when I'm having a lazy day, I still want my hair out of my face. I I just don't like having my hair in my face. Which is funny, because I'm, I've am i been trying to grow out my hair for a really long time. But I absolutely hate the sensory input of hair. Like, ugh, hate when it touches my neck. Hate when it touches me. It's touching my shoulders at the moment, and it's politely bothering me, but uh, not enough for me to do anything about it. Yeah, covered that bit of pink. I actually keep, I shaved an undercut myself and I maintain that just because it means less hair to touch my neck. But you know, shaving the back of your head is a little bit difficult when you can't see the back of your head. So, yeah. It probably looks messy, but you know, it's the back of my head, so that sounds like that's everyone else's problem and not mine. I don't have to look at it. What colour t-shirt does Remy want to be wearing? Maybe a blue t-shirt to match his general average outfit, because he usually has that blue thing around his neck. I need to sneeze again. There we go. Wait, we didn't do the stamp. The stamp of fun. That's not the stamp ink. The stamp. The stamp of fun. Monk. Not really that readable, is it? Oh well. Soon I will get to switch the stamp over to a new month. How fun. Um. I actually have this other painting I'm working on, my aunt, and my laptop's currently exporting that because um, I recorded the painting of the whole thing, but obviously it took a while, so. I mean, I haven't finished the painting yet, but I'm mushing the first bunch of footage into one and speeding it up so it's ready, but you can't really see the whole painting with this angle, can you? Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for my laptop to do that, and you'll probably see all that footage in a future video as background. But yeah, it's not like I'm just doing this acrylic painting after doing no acrylic painting. I just haven't done lots of acrylic painting recently, at least. Only really that other painting that I just showed you, or attempted to show you. And that's not quite finished yet. Uh, got five hours into it at the moment. Painting takes a while.
feel like I'm constantly having to check my microphone to make sure I haven't accidentally muted it and left it muted. Because, you know, what's the point in recording a video and talking in the video if you don't record the sound of you talking? I need a thinner paintbrush, don't I? Ooh, this is a bit of a watery, isn't it? There we go. I actually need to clean my paintbrushes and my paint cut, probably. They are a little bit messy. Bloop, 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 bloop. A little bit of this darker brown. I also need to dig through and find a blue for her for the shirt. Of course the page is a bit warped and bumpy because of how much paint I'm layering on, but that's to be expected. And I've got that clear stuff that I usually put over my drawings and I can put that on the back of this piece of paper and over top of the painting and that will help out the page a little bit. I can show you that in a different video in future, if you like. Because obviously after this I'm done the painting, we're not going to be sitting around and watching paint dry. Also, I am wanting to get a proper PC, and it's just taking me a while to save up, so... Reminder that I have commissions open. Not for paintings like this one, but for digital art. So if you want to commission me, Honestly, any commission money will probably go towards my savings for a computer, and that will be greatly appreciated. I say probably, but if my cats end up needing food before I can get a computer, obviously I'm going to end up using it for the cats to get food. I definitely mixed too much of this whitey grey colour. More than I'm going to use, so I may end up just doing another painting just to use up some of the paint on the palette afterwards. A painting, you know, after the video. So, I'm sorry, you will not get to see this future mysterious painting. Unless I do it in the sketchbook, in which case you'll see it when I finish that sketchbook. I've got a sketchbook that I'm actually attempting to finish today, because I would like to do a little sketchbook tour, show you through my sketchbook way. Um, I need to put more brown paint on the palette. The room is somewhat warm because I have a heater under my desk next to me. So, I think that's probably helping with our dryingness of the paint, but still. Okay, I need a blue paint. Not the new fresh paint. I will grab that one. And this one. So we have this one, a little tiny fella, Cerulean, and this one. I think this one isn't actually open. Yeah, not open, but that's fine. I have tons of these little boogers because I, for a while, I I just I bought a weird amount of them considering I don't typically do much acrylic painting. I always t seem to think I need to buy more acrylic paint, even when I don't need to buy more acrylic paint, because uh, uh, when you look at a little tube like this, you'd assume that doesn't go far. But these are little tubes, I've got a lot of them, and they've lasted a decent amount of time. There's a little bit of brown in there, more proof that I need to clean my paint water cup, and the paintbrushes, honestly. Or maybe I should just eventually, at some point, throw out this this cup. I should get a a, plas a cup that isn't plastic. It's for my paint water, and wash it more often, probably. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on getting the paint on the paper. I think we will have it so it's kind of a 
a mushed out look at the bottom. Like it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the page, it just fades out like a heat shot kind of thing. I think it's kind of a nice effect to have. We will obviously have to layer this blue paint a bit, but that's fine. I'll have to go digging for a paint for its eye colour too. Loop, 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 loop. But I think our painting's coming across okay so far. If you did some drawing or painting today while watching this video, I would love to see your your artwork. You can take me on social media, on the anythings. I think I'm on most things. Actually, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of new art sites that I have not joined. Because, you know, all the artists scrambling to find somewhere to post other than Twitter. There's a bit of hair on my paint. Was that from the paintbrush? Like, did it come out? Who knows? Can you see it on the camera? I don't know. If you can, I hope it troubles you for the rest of your days. No, I'm joking. I don't hope that. That would be mean. Let's use a little bit of darker blue now. I need to blow my nose. Bit of a darker blue. Can I get this bit of hair off there? Did I get it? No, I did not. I got it. <laughs> the little bit of hair was bothering me more than it was likely to bother you. Sorry, little piece of hair. You almost got to be immortal and live in this painting forever. Not that this painting will live forever. Because I don't think I'm going to become the type of artist who everyone ends up hanging on to the traditional art of somehow. It would be funny if I did, but I don't think that's likely. So here we go. I think I actually put too much of the darker blue down, but you know what? That's fine. We can live with this darker blue. Squishy it into the water, squishy it into the water. Okay, another little coating of grey. It still ends up revealing the pink underneath, doesn't it? See, if I were doing this digitally, I would not have this issue. I did not think about his mouth. Ugh, I hate drawing mouths. I think I can kind of need a reddish colour for the mouth. I can use this little crimson red that looks like it is running out of paint. And also this one. I can't put the palette in sight now because then I... Well, I could set it here, but that's kind of out of the way for me. And I need to be able to see it more than you need to be able to see it. Oop. This little red paint that I grabbed, I think, is completely out of paint, and therefore actually not useful. I can't even get a, the tiniest little bit of squidge out of it. So, I actually lied to you, and these little paint tubes do not last for a long time like I said they do. Actually, they probably do have just had that little red tube for a long time. I'm looking for a little red paint. Here's one. Crimson Reed. Oop, that is too much Crimson Reed. And then we will mix it with a little bit of this for the lipples. Oops, that is more than we needed of that colour. And then we have A 
Um, I think this is actually too light for, for Remy. So I guess we'll use a little bit of burnt sienna. Wow. Still a little bit too light, but I think we can live with it. Maybe when Remy's home, he wears a light, a lovely lipstick. I don't know. Remy's allowed to wear makeup if Remy wants to wear makeup. I'm still not amazing at lips or mouths. So, please be nice to me. <laughs> and honestly, acrylic paint tends to be a little bit shiny, so sometimes it can be hard to actually see what I'm doing. Ugh, I think I've got too much water on my paintbrush. Yeah. Yeah, I've got paint all over my hands, don't I? Well, not really all over them, just got more paint than I would like to have on my hands. What is the point in having a shower if you then... Ugh. Bloop. Um, mix struggling. I think the skin paint is still a bit too wet to actually do the mouth, and that is part of why I'm mix struggling, which is unfortunate. I may have to pause and wait for some paint to dry before I can continue this painting. So yeah, I will see you after a little bit of a pause. I did not wait that long, because I am impatient. I'm thinking for the eye colour, I'm going to mix these two. Will that make a good colour for eyes? No. Will it make me happy? Yes. Bloop. You'll see I did, well actually I don't think you can see, but I did do a polite little sketch for um for the mouth so i would have an idea of what the mouth is gonna be actually i think this is an okay color for eyes actually that looks more like a horrible skin color doesn't it it's not really the correct color for him but you know what it's gonna be now Ooh, this is the wrong brush to be using Now Kira's up to Havoc, exploring stuff behind me, trying to decide where she wants to nap, because Lily is under my desk in her preferred spot. I definitely blobbed too much paint on here. Yeah. If I have any advice when it comes to painting, it's don't do anything I did. Look at this video and then go, I will paint and I will do everything, but what he did. And can you believe I was thinking about finding out how I can sell some of my acrylic paintings? This painting is making me change my mind. But then also I, I do have a little bit of a time limit for this video, for this painting. Well, for this video, but for this painting mostly. Because I need to get it done by a certain time, so that probably is not helping me with the, the doing the painting aspect. Yeah. 
There we go. I think what I've done here is I've actually committed several crimes against paper. The paint is too wet to do the e do the lips properly. Paint, why? Dry quicker. Why can you not dry instantaneously? Yeah. And I ran out of the skin colour I had mixed, which I think is also a crime. Because honestly I don't remember how I mixed that skin colour, I'm sure there was a whole lot of nonsense involved. Any colour mixed by me has to have a level of nonsense involved. Where did I put the colour I needed? Oh, I dumped it back into the container next to me, like a fool. I don't need to mix more colour actually. I can use that colour. Ugh, these lids are so hard to crack shut and I did something to my wrist because it is politely sore. Like not sore enough to be a hindrance, but sore enough that it is politely so. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I'm sorry, so sorry, Remy, that I have done this to you. Crimes have been committed upon your visage, and I can only apologise. I think the lips are the most part that's really needing a little bit more added just to so you can tell where the lips are if that makes sense not so you can tell where they are but so you can tell the top lip from the bottom lip i'll add a bit of a burnt umber into the this color i'm using and hope that does something Does it do something good? Who knows? Doesn't really do much of anything. His eyes remind me of weak eggs. I hope you are all very proud of this mess I've created because I think we are done messing around with it now. Um, thank you for coming along on this journey to make a mess. I will probably do some little corrections once this is dried, but this is it for now. Thank you all. See you in the next one. I've ended up having to edit the video anyway, so I figured I would add another clip after doing some adjustments. I added outline. It's still not an amazing looking painting, but I think having the outlines around the lips is at least an improvement. Not that the outline around the rest of it is very good, because it is thick, chunky, and not great. And I added this paint to the background. It's still drying, and then I'll put clear stuff over it so the so it, it's just, you know, better. And it doesn't stick to the other page, because... What is the other page? Oh, it's not going to stick to the other page anyway, because it's just highlighter and pencil. Today's video might be a little bit late because usually I would post it at 12 past, I mean 15 past 12, but it's 12 past 10 and I don't think I'm going to get this done in two hours. But I also want this video to be posted today. So, yeah.